now, so I'm just going to say a little about you, if I may. Um, Al is an artist, a professor, a teacher, a gamer, interested in all things visual. He's, he's musical and he's playful. And he's going to be telling us a lot more today about game design in schools. Game design has so undergone some major paradigm I'm shifts you guys can hear in the last this. few years. I actually can't hear you. Here we go. What I'm going to talk about is, is not just um, games as used to motivate students, which is gamification, or even a specific game environment that's targeted towards a specific subject, such as uh, what Paul was showing us, which was, which was uh, games dedicated towards teaching specific vocabulary or teaching specific skills. And there are many examples of games that are made to target a specific area of learning, such as math games. There's a great site called Manga High, which is for math games. And it's K through 12. And it, it, it's very, very uh, well thought out and planned and rigorous. And it, it takes students from grades 1 all the way through at algebra and geometry. And it's, it's a really good game environment that's math specific. What I'm really going to be talking about is designing games. So the the, um, the the actual skill that you're teaching is you're teaching kids how to design games. It fits inside the curriculum really within that a design technology curriculum, which is how we use that at the school I'm currently teaching in, or you can uh, build it into an art program because you're designing things, or it could be in a technology program as part of a larger technology media literacy curriculum and uh, it also works really well as an after-school activity for a club or um, a specific group of kids who are just interested in game design and 